Okay, so it's August. I'm giving you a just a view of where my garden is at this point. My favorite season is approaching fall, Halloween, everything's scary. Um, tomatoes are, I'm telling you, once once it starts cooling off, they start perking up. And then we've had the heat for a week, so they're kind of stagnant, but they're getting a lot of flowers. So I'm gonna get some more tomatoes. My aromas have been super weird this year, like long. Have you guys had that? I, don't, I think it's something to do with the heat, but they're all like long instead of wide. Let's see? They're all long. I don't know. So, these are doing, I got a couple tomato stuff. My fall garden, I am gonna, I'm going to, um, I, I notice I break into my southern, a little southern draw sometimes. You don't think you have an accent till you um, see yourself on video. And uh, I definitely pick up some words. I've been here, I don't know, long time, since 98. So, <clears throat> I'm not going to do seeds for the, I mean, I'm going to stick seeds here and there for the fall garden, but it takes a lot of patience and I want some action. So, I'm gonna buy, buy plants. This eggplant's perking up. Um, Sam got a bot. He's like obsessed with bonsai trees right now. He bought that with his own money. I am waiting for these um, marigolds to bloom because I think they're different colors than what I have and they're trying. But man, the, the, the intense heat has done a number on my plants this year. <clears throat> what was funny, Sam... Um, I call him Samuel, but everyone calls him Sam, so I'm starting to call him Sam all the time. He, I had this gardenia bush sitting out there, and he's like, Mom, I can use this as a bonsai tree. And sure enough, we got to Pikes, and they use gardenia bushes and other types of bushes that look like this. I forget what the other kind was, but they use them as bonsai trees. And I had no idea, so... He's making his own little bonsai tree right here. He is so perceptive, it's amazing. And I know it's because he's been to, going to camp since he was, can walk, so he's learned so much. It's been expensive, but it's been well worth it. I got one little um, watermelon, and it's, it says when the stem turns brown that it's ready, so hoping we actually get to eat that. So cute. I'm getting a lot of pests on these leaves. They're just annihilating my plants right now. See? I don't know what they're, they just like shred them, like a little paper shredder. <clears throat> I don't think I'm keeping this, all of these strawberries next year because I think this side gets more sun. And see over there, you can tell. I really only have two beds now with full sun. And this one's even kind of part shade so vegetables are going in these two beds next year that one's going to be whatever shade vegetables or part shade will grow and then same with this one um for some reason the flowers do better in the part shade even the flowers that are meant for sun than the vegetables do in the part shade the vegetables definitely need the full sun. <clears throat> Gosh, I'm sorry, but the pollen's making me sniff like crazy. Um, <clears throat> look at the morning glories just started popping all of a sudden. They're so pretty. These come back every year. I don't plant them. They've been here since I since I came, uh, since I moved into this house. The birds drop the seeds, and you'll find them everywhere. Lettuce. I always seem to have good luck with. Neil made this for us, a friend of the family's. So cute. Um, so yeah, I've been really happy with my garden. I mean, with my flower garden this year. <clears throat> I definitely am in love with zinnias. I love marigolds now. I used to think they were stinky, but they bring so many butterflies that... It's worth it. Look at all the tomatoes I'm getting again. 
it's just weird. I don't know. It has been cool. It's probably the cooler mornings now that I think about it. That they're starting to produce again. I had so many moonflowers on here last night and I forgot to look. But that plant takes... Oh, look. I got an okra. Oh my gosh. I think this is when you pick it, actually. My first okra. Ooh, one whole okra. <laughs> I need to plant a whole bed of these next year because we like it. <clears throat> Definitely one of our favorites. Um, this is a whatever bed right now because I'm still fixing the soil. I'm still getting a few tomatoes, but I gotta put some good miracle grow in there. See, there's a butterfly right now. I literally had four of them at once. I can't, I can't get the milkweed going, but the zinnias, they're just as good, see? All you need is zinnias and marigolds. They love the marigolds. Um, so weird, but I have all this basil over here and I don't get anywhere I don't like it. Isn't it funny how your taste change? Like, I don't like licorice and it smells and tastes like licorice to me. Um, so, I don't know. I like oregano. This stuff, you can't kill if you wanted to. It grows forever. I lost my rosemary to the freeze last year. Which was a bummer because that was one of my favorites. And this is another bed that has horrible soil. Um, coleus seed, man. I would get some of those because look at this. I dumped a bunch in a planter with like barely any soil in there and it is like going nuts so that will be i'm going to write down everything that i liked this year and it's all going in my garden i'm about to give up on blueberries i moved that thing put it in a pot i can't get it to do nothing so that one's gonna I'm gonna give it to someone with land that has lots of sunshine and then my fig trees I are doing the best of anything this year. Oh, and of course I have some things in here. Watermelon and bush beans. We are getting, they, this, the clouds are just teasing us. Like my husband works 20 minutes away and it's pouring rain and we're just not getting it here. the thunder. It's just not gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I love thunder clouds. You guys ever get to the point where you feel like everything's breaking and you're never gonna fix everything that needs to be fixed in your house i was just wondering like that bench that my dad gave my son i need to stain it like every square foot i move i see something that needs to be done see this clay I haven't amended any of this. That's what, nothing grows. It'll live, but it doesn't thrive if you don't mix um, soil amendments with your clay. Because that's mostly what is in here. I think they had some, some dirt in here, but you have to constantly amend the clay or it is like, when it's dry, it just turns to stone. Maybe we'll see some action today in the skies. I always think a tornado's gonna come right out of that hole. And then the tire that everyone loves, which I'm gonna paint it bright purple and put it in, make a hosta garden after this year. That's my plan. That's it. 
have a good weekend. Do something fun and enjoyable. I'm 47, I'm ready to retire already.